Now it's time to bring back some of what we began learning at the beginning of this course, that being the front panel of Scanner XT. For this tutorial, we're going to actually set up some macro controls to take this lead all the way to the next level. At the very bottom of Scanner XT, you'll notice a toggle switch for both modulators and macro controls. We'll go ahead and switch this over to macro. Once this happens, as you can see, we get the same knobs located in panel A at the very bottom of Scanner XT. This time, however, we have the drop-down menus to control how the knobs will behave. Let's start by setting up the source knob. I'll set the top macro up to move position A forward. This, of course, is the position modulation knob located at the very top. By giving it about 40% positive strength, I'll cause the position A knob to move to about 4 o'clock when the source knob is at full strength. Next, we'll set up oscillator position B to move the opposite direction with about 50% strength. Now take a listen to what happens. Crazy. We'll keep the bottom modulation slot in the middle position so it's inactive. We'll have more fun with the other possibilities later. Now, here's the fun part. Let's assign the LFO to the source knob, then go up to the A panel and set the rate to about 10 o'clock. Now let's check it out. It just gives this sound that is so different and yet so cool. Okay, in the next video, we're going to start talking about a way to make the lead even dirtier than it is now with feedback. <laughs>